New York City stands out as one of the most bustling tourist destinations in the United States, offering a plethora of activities. While there is an overwhelming array of things to do, let me guide you through maximizing a single day in the city. With nearly a decade of living experience in New York City, I embarked on a day trip with my son Danny and my parents, ensuring they experienced the city to the fullest. To optimize our time, the first step was boarding a tour bus. Unlike subways or driving, which can consume time in walking and parking, a city bus tour efficiently covers almost all of New York's key areas. You can hop off at any stop, capturing pictures, indulging in some shopping, and seamlessly hopping onto the next bus, typically arriving every 15 minutes. Drawing from my insider knowledge, I successfully negotiated the bus ticket prices, initially quoted at $69 per person, totaling $276 for the four of us. I managed to secure a deal at $43 per person, was a complimentary ticket for my son. The final cost, a reasonable $129. Arriving in New York in November, we were greeted by the chilly embers of winter. It's worth noting that the city's brisk winds can add an extra layer of cold, especially if you opt for the top floor of the tour bus for a better view. The night view buses offer a separate, albeit non-stop experience. The night view buses, unlike their daytime counterparts, don't allow passengers to disembark during the ride. However, the trade-off is a breathtaking panorama of Manhattan illuminating by the glittering city lights. Despite the biting cold, the enchanting beauty of New York at night, with its dazzling array of lights, promises an unforgettable experience. Our exploration led us to the Wall Street and World Trade Center stop, where we decided to December. I seized the opportunity to take my son and parents on a nostalgic journey to my alma mater, the New York Film Academy. A decade had passed since my graduation and returning to the school brought back a wave of fond memories. Following our visit to the Film Academy, we strolled over to the solemn 9-11 memorial. The experience was poignant, offering a moment of reflection in the midst of the bustling city. From there, we continued our journey to the Westfield World Trade Center a versatile destination that seamlessly blends shopping and coffee indulgence. The vibrant atmosphere provided the perfect respite, allowing us to unwind and enjoy the best of both worlds.
As nightfall descended, we hopped back on the tour bus headed to the iconic Times Square. The perpetual energy of the place, always teeming with people and bustling activities, never fails to captivate. Danny, my son in particular, radiated excitement, perhaps a testament to his innate connection with the city of his birth. Amidst the lively scenes, we witnessed TikTok dancers in action. And true to his spirited nature, Danny couldn't resist joining in, dancing with unbridled enthusiasm. For dinner, we opted for a truly unique experience, a Japanese restaurant near Times Square, Ichiran Ramen. Stepping into the restaurant felt like a teleportation to Tokyo. The unconventional setting embraced a noted policy, and the dining experience was designed for utmost individuality. From ordering to finding a seat and even pouring water, Every aspect was a solo endeavor. The restaurant's distinctive concept encouraged a solitary ramen indulgence, creating a dining atmosphere unlike any other. Before bidding farewell to New York, I treated them to the delights of Samarkand, a fantastic Uzbek restaurant in Queens where we once called home. The standout dish was undeniably their lamb kebab, an absolute must try. With satisfied taste buds and content hearts, we concluded our visit and headed back to Virginia. That wraps up the recipe for a perfect one day exploration of New York City. And thanks for watching.